In this video, let's go ahead and take uh, a look at what it would take to create stylized hair for a stylized character, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is download a brush. So let's, here's the artist I'm going to use. The artist's name is Dylan Akron, and I'm going to uh, include a link to this brush as well, so you can grab it um, also. Once you download the brush, let's go ahead and make the brush. So the next thing you want to do is go to brush and you want to load a brush and let's see. So once you load it, it comes in as DE underscore hair tubes and let's go see, uh, let's go ahead and see um, what that actually looks like. So I'm going to select on this first one called simple A and let's go ahead and just drag something and see what that looks like. As you can see, when I drag it, nothing happens. That means that my um, model here has subdivision levels, so I'm going to undo, go to geometry, and I'm going to delete uh, lower subdivision. Um, if you want to keep your lower subdivision, make sure that you duplicate this and only work on the modified one, right? So you have the original. Make sure you don't delete your geometry as you're doing uh, hair. But um, you do need some kind of surface to drag the hair brush on, so that's why uh, ZBrush needs this to be not subdivided. All right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna simply drag, and you can see my uh, active symmetry is on. I'm actually gonna turn it off by pressing X, and I'm gonna undo, uh, because I do need to flip my hair strands to go the other way. So for that, I'm gonna go to stroke, and I'm gonna go to curve modifiers, go to curve fall off, and just flip this uh, over. And let's try this again. That looks much much better so for example if I wanted to have a couple strands coming from the middle here what I could do is just simply drag it as I wish and um, while the line is active or visible you can adjust it as you wish so once you are happy with your shape and you want to do more sculpting, but you are done um, kind of with the major foundational uh, shape, just simply click on the head and then we'll get uh, rid of the line. And this simply means that now this is a uh, mesh that you can sculpt, right? So I can, I can grab the move brush and I can actually start sculpting it, sculpting uh, on the hair just like I would with anything else, right? If you want to uh, flip this to the other side, you can just simply uh, mirror and weld, right? You can do that. You can turn on your symmetry back on and maybe move these a uh, little better into place. You can grab your inflate brush, maybe make this a little thicker. So it's just now a matter of sculpting the hair uh, as you like it. Now, before um, we uh, end this, let's go ahead and take a look at another uh, piece uh, piece of strand. So I can see there's a simple A, and there's different variations, and there's also called something called multi-thick A. Uh, let's go ahead and click on that and see what that does. So for that, I'm going to make my brush. I'm going to turn off the symmetry, and let's see what this will this will give us. So you can see this is going to give us different strands up here which is really cool because that means we can separate them once we kind of get them um, where we like them, right? Now keep in mind at any point you can change the size of your brush and just simply click on the stroke to um, change the size. You can drag this, maybe something like this, and let's say I now want to separate, and then of course you can also turn the uh, dynamic subdivision on if you want to preview kind of a high resolution hair um, as you're working, right? Now, how would we separate these strands? You want to turn on your uh, polyframe, so as soon as I turn that on, you can see uh, the colors of your mesh, right? So now if I click outside, um, outside of this line, I can kind of bake that line in. And now if I click on auto, auto groups, I can see that my uh, hair strands are now different poly groups. 
And that means if I grab something like the move topology brush, it will allow me to grab each um, line, each polygroup individually and position it to where I need it to be. So a cool little uh, trick and an amazing uh, brush by this uh, artist. So take advantage of this and let's go ahead and turn this off. And you can see how I can quickly uh, position the hair to um, where it needs to be for some awesome stylized uh, hairstyles. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.